This is the Captain Togo of the USS Phoenix. Do we have clearance for warp? Yes. Yes, sir. You have clearance for warp. Okay. If it's set course for the War 359 system. Engage. Hello there, I'm Cam Tago and welcome to Star Trek Online. So yes, today I'm basically showing you bits of Star Trek Online, like my bridge. Very classy and more, very tight. And I'm also introducing your crew while I'm here. That uh, is my first one. Let's get the hub up. There we go. So yes, that is my first officer. He was a trill. And something weird is happening with glitching over there, so. That is my Gemindar, Cal Clan. There is Corbin in the back, who is my Tactical of tactical and espionage officer. Back there is my Klingon car, car, and in front of us is a my is Gavrim. I think that's right. I'm not sure. Who is my maintenance officer and my head of engineering, James Raven, who is a race I created myself called the Cesari. And the rest is just engineering officer, science officer. I wonder if the Oh no my bulk's not in here. Um, so yes, this is Star Trek Online. This is basically this is a online free to play game where you are allowed to well be in the Star Trek universe and play as a character be interacting with characters and doing events beyond what's happened, what's happened beyond Star Trek Nemesis. This is my ready room, my captain's office really. Ooh, fish tank. Yay, fish tank. But yes. I am here on the USS, this is my ship, the USS Phoenix, which is a sovereign class starship. As people may remember as the Star Trek, as the Star Trek, the Enterprise in Star Trek, the Star, well, the Enter Enterprise E. So yes, again, Let's go back into tactical view. 
and show you the main reason why we have come to Wolf 359. Yes, you have come to Wolf 359 because today, the day I'm uploading this, 24th of September 2015, is it is 25 years since the first episode since the episode of the what featured the battle of war 359 that is correct it's been about 25 years since the premiere of the next generation episode what what permitted Wolf, the Battle of War 359. And this is a remembrance for it. And it's a massive part in Star Trek history. And look, another one else has come, come to meet us. You need of the USS Normandy SR-1D. Well, it's only like, I mean, really likes, likes a, a Mass Effect. So yes. In this battle of War 359, but before we go on to that, you see what ship she's flying. I think it's a, I think it's a retrofitted Find as in this game you can get you can buy little retrofit models of ships. Let's get this in reverse and get closer. Ah oh, damn it, no. Yeah, it's, I think it's a retrofitted model. Model of the Defiant, the Def, of the Valiant class ship, where it is under tactical escort. So yeah. So yeah. That's it. Do you know, the reason why this is the f most significant time in the Star Trek history is because this was the first large engagement between both Starfleet and the Borg which happened in the year 2364 in the Star Trek universe which is a long time in the future but we digress about 40 vessels were engaged during the Federation vessels were engaged in the battle against one Borg cube. This was before the Sovereign class and the Defiant class. So, and they've, this is the first engagement, so a lot of, ship, a lot of ships died. About 20, 39 vessels were destroyed. 39 out of the 40. Just like Star Trek, like the first Star Trek movie. Except from Vulcan was destroyed. Yeah. Here. Killing approximately 11,000 people. 11,000 people. And also this is, also this, ep the episode this is taken part of was actually produced. It was actually the first, was one with Picard, when Patrick Stewart or John Luke Picard became a well, Borg. And if people don't know the Borg, they are a single why don't you? 
there's a piece of sci-fi culture that everyone knows but anyway anyway if anyone doesn't know what the Borg are they are a robotic race who wishes to con to co make all organics both organic and synthetics themselves and to dominate the galaxy and they do this at mass efficiency as they all they're all controlled by a hive mind but anyway let's go and exit war 359 and give a proper remembrance of today the fights on Borg so, yes. so here we go this is somewhere called Sector Space, that's just the boundary missions for missions people have made. So yeah, this is Sector Space. This is basically the area of space where you go to when during your travels. Over the years this has really expanded much since the first when it was first released very very expanded and this is kind of one whole map split there because this whole map is split it's utterly split this is just one sector as if you see on the galactic map all these little sector blocks all part of one whole system. All of this is one part of one system. Then we go to the galaxy map. This is how big it is. So that that's one whole block. That's one whole block. And that's one whole block. So yes. Let's head towards Borg space what's around what is over here. Head towards the other camp campus system as I've already preset a mission we can do. We will explain much where we're going to fight the Borg and pretty much a good episode to introduce to, to explain how powerful uh, the Borg is and their abilities. The other quicker you do to the quantum drive this speeds up my wall. So basically it takes a long time to get from like this corner to all the way to that corner. This slipstream is a bit better. to explain the Borg as the Borg in this in this game is very very hard if you play if you warp in the normal standard ship at the start you're just going to be crushed you're just an ant to them 
just going to be destroyed in the first minute. See, over the years I've basically made my ship Borg. Borg in one Borg. Is our fault. Your culture but will adapt to service ours. Not all ships are vulnerable. As you can see, many people who stores you, you can buy different vessels. I have a standard sovereign vessel. Yeah. Yes. There's many different things you can do. There is fleet there's fleet actions and uh, these are well, basically like community events where people can just come together to, to find a common enemy. I'm gonna be hiding them this, this guy out Tactical ball cube. The reason why the ball is because it is a little close. They usually capture whoever they want to um, get. Yeah. And they try a lot of those. They are very As you can see now, there have been a lot of different people who have joined up. Ooh, look, the USS Surprise. Take down this ball cube. And they have had such a fleet where you work together with it. Within the fleet, set up survey, set up the embassy, and the monuments, basically do hope for monuments, as you've not seen the, uh, the first, the first newest Star Trek movies. Where Vulcan has where Romulus was destroyed. Destroyed in this world. Well, the alternative world has not been destroyed yet, so. so yeah. So yeah, this plays around with most of the most of the storylines with within the Star Trek. In Star Trek and basically set up Hey, hey. 
most of the voice actors from the actual TV shows from Voyager, from Next Generation I actually managed to hire the actors for those actors from those series to play part in most of the mi voice act the char their characters within those within the mission within particular missions. Omega packages, what gives us dilithium experience and Mega Marks. And if people don't know, Omega, the Omega Task Force was a union of the Klingon Romulan Republic, what is based the new Romulan race. The players basically separated themselves from the Romulan Star Empire and the Federation. A union of all those three races to fight against the Borg. What the hell? Where? Where should we go next? So we see more 359. Yes, go find. Yes, go see Earth. And we avenge all 359 with that destruction station even though it's just one ship. You take any victory. But anyway. Get victory by made it. Let's go to Earth. Who is the transport there but I prefer to use first line this system. As everything does have a cool time going time to it. I really suggest anyone who's a Star Trek fan or just like Star Trek in general, they will love, they will just love this. As you're both a captain of your own ship, you can customize your crew, ship, and basically everything is. Reminiscent of Star, Star Trek. Of all the Star Treks, really. Star Trek's general reminiscent of all of it. 
as well, there's the moon back there. See there's a corner there. No only thing you can't go towards it, but anyway. It's a corner near the moon, so there's legendary uh, ship dock. And there is the creation yard. Oh if you want to know that rapture over there is only permitted for people who are subscribed, it's a bit annoying, but they need to have some kind of balance. I would go full impulse over here, but I can't because of its close proximity to the uh, to uh, space dock and I don't like it. Over here you can actually beam down to the uh, Starfleet Academy in California, which is it there? It's over there somewhere. And they have these like little AI ships fly around. Or well, different classes of ships, quite nice. Means that there's always there's always something going on. But anyway. These rifts this rift here is only allowed for like subscribe members to go to this special meeting place. For only like subscribe members to go to. And these subscriptions are like get different add-ons and stuff like that. Different benefits due to different ones. But yeah, so here we go, uh, Space Dock and it's pretty neat, nifty as you can actually fly into this. Literally you can. Look at those doors! Look at it! It's closing! It's going to fly into the hoof. It's going to fly in. Another nifty feature is if you actually that actually opening for me. And if you actually fight in, you actually you um go into the space station as well, which is quite a nice fe feature. Annoying thing is that it doesn't let you go fly right in, but if you explain it, but if you're probably able to fly right in, you'll probably see how bad the graphics inside it. But this is a free to play game so there is going to be some graphics issues with it. But anyway, it is good. It's good Star Trek Online. So yeah, this is... Wait for the loading screen. This is a space dock. bit heavy on my PC as well, it's still loading in and there's a lot of AI and stuff here. There's Club 47 over there, there's the infirmary and it's just loaded in. There is when you, what is it, one of us, it's where you get our ships. Over there is the requisition and the exchange as this uh, does have an not of an economy of... it does have an economy, like a... Oh, currency system, as they use energy credits to buy... If you use energy credits to buy certain weapons and stuff from the requisitions over here. And you see many of the different outfits you This has changed a lot since when it was first released. As the first uh, space dock doesn't didn't even look like the first original one. Oh my god, is that is is that a galaxy clock ship over there? There's a shadow of a galaxy class just flying past. I don't know what happened to the lights there, but God. there's some freaking shuttles going past. But they, they always make this active. Always, they always make it make you feel like this is, you know, it's always busy. Something's always going on. And it's like with those speakers above us, it always, it, it just gives you that energy. Cool little energy that 
something like that. There's always something. There's something always happening within the galaxy. There's always something going on. And there, uh, and there it is. Space dock operation. Federation's logo. And if I can find it, I will probably be able to. That is the main office for Admiral Quinn, who is the main person head of it. Wait a minute, is that the same galaxy from my vid? That just I don't know. They put they do reuse stuff, but it's ingenious. They use it in ingenious ways. This is a hologram of the actual space dock. It's quite impressive. They have like different you know, show different ships around the area. There's like the observatory. Oh look a Vulcan Oh look a Vulcan vessel right there. There's like some it actually comes up. These yeah, screens actually come up when you go near to them. It's quite nice. You know you can't do anything with them. It's quite nice. There's like room here trophy room of some kind, I think, a player. All the little statues of all the different ships you can get. This is the Intrepid class there. Um, there's the original, the original, um, concessions class shape I think it was. I think that is, yeah, I think that's Sovereign class ship, the, the Galaxy class ship, where everyone knows it's probably been so Enterprise, and yeah, so yeah, this is very, very strict to Federation law, this is very, very strict, and many of the different patches they've managed to implement different stuff to it, and they've actually managed to, um, over time they've actually added you can actually fly the original first ever NX NX01 USS Enterprise is impressive even though it's tiny it's freaking fun to fly but yeah that is Star Trek Online really it is a great place. It is a great game to play if you if you love Star Trek. It goes right on with the raw Star Trek, and it basically tells you what. It basically it's a good game if you want closure on the Star Trek universe. And it's just it's just us be fun. I recommend this for anyone who wants to play Star Trek, who loves Star Trek. So don't come to go signing off. Good hunting. Beam me up, Scotty. Subscribe to my channel, leave a like as well. Like us on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Cap Virgo signing off. Good hunting. Time to head home. Time to head home. Home we go! I'm here for my time! Oh crap. Dang it! Time to fly out of that atmosphere! the Arctic. <laughs>